Hey guys, it's Rob Knight, and I am back with another bag review. Uh, just when I think the guys at Tenba have come up with my favorite backpack ever, they came out with the Axis. Right? The, the Solstice bag, as you may have seen in some of my other videos, had a lot of the features that I've been looking for in a bag, and a lot of features I've been asking for in a bag for years, and I thought, well, maybe this is pretty close to the perfect uh, camera bag. And then along came the Axis. I was super excited about this bag, um, and I got my hands on one as soon as I could. Now, I've been toting this thing around for a few months. I uh, just got back from a photo workshop in Grand Teton National Park here in the United States and um, dragged this bag all over the place. And so I feel like I'm pretty well suited to go ahead and do a video review for you. And, um, and here it is. One of the things that I love about uh, this bag in particular over the Solstice bags is the exterior, right? The build quality of this thing. This is a, a waterproof material and I never really worried about the Solstice bag, but I can tell you I've had this thing uh, sitting on a rock by a waterfall while I was shooting just a couple of weeks ago. And when I picked the bag up, it was soaking wet, like water all over it, just the mist from the waterfall had, had collected on it. And I picked the bag up and gave it a shake and all the water just ran right off of it. There was no water inside, there was no, uh, the bag wasn't wet. It, it was it's really great. Now, that's not to say the, the back side is probably that waterproof, but, but let's start with the back of this bag. Uh, these straps are fully adjustable, so you can take this little adjuster guy and slide it in and adjust where the straps are with Velcro. Now I'm six feet three inches tall, so not all bags fit me exactly like I wish they would. Well, I can extend these straps, I can make them a little bit longer so that the bag sits on my shoulders the way I want it to, so that the, the belt fits around my hips, I can adjust the weight exactly like I like it. Um, and it also has these load adjuster straps on the top, which I really like, so the bag doesn't feel like it's hanging off of you. Um, the belt is really nice and has loops so that you can attach I guess lens pouches or your filter wallet or, or something like that. Um, nice and wide. Now the belt doesn't come off uh, of this bag. Well, you know I say it doesn't come off, but it just might. But I, I don't believe that it does um, like it does on the Solstice bags, but I've really never had the need to take it off. Um, I like that it's got a big grab handle on the top. Now at first, uh, there's a, been a couple of times when I wish I could pick up the bag with the grab handle while it was open but the handle is actually on the lid. And that kind of bothered me at first, but I realized that keeps you from having the bag unzipped and then grabbing it by the handle and dumping everything out onto the ground. So I, I think that's probably why um, that bag is, that handle is there. Now moving around to the back side of the bag, uh, it does have Molly attachments. Now if you've never, if you're not familiar with Molly, uh, you can, this is a, a military standard thing and you can use these pouches. I got this pouch on Amazon for next to nothing. I think I got two of them for $10. And these fit uh, into this webbing here. It actually fits into the webbing on the side of the bag, um, which I like. Uh, the Tenba battery pouches also can go on here. Um, some of the Tenda memory card wallets can go on here. So while I'm out shooting, sometimes I'll put a memory card wallet and an extra battery on the side of the bag so I don't have to actually get into it to get to that sort of thing. It comes with these straps on the back too, and there's a little tripod pocket that pops out here so you can attach your tripod to the back. I also use these sometimes uh, if I'm going through the airport, I'll throw my, my jacket or my hoodie through these loops uh, just as a way to quickly stow that. Uh, there's a pouch or a pocket on the back, pretty simple. I, I usually keep my memory card wallet in here, some business cards. My iPad fits in here. I've got the, um, a 10 and a half inch iPad Pro. I'm not sure if the big 12 inch one would fit, but uh, it's a pretty nice size uh, pocket with a little padding. So that's cool. Um, another thing um, on this, this particular bag, a lot of the Tenba backpacks now have the sort of water bottle pouch or uh, you could maybe fit a small tripod into it. The, I find that the pocket on the side of the Axis bag is a little bit small. So my regular water bottle doesn't fit in here. Now if you just grab a 20 ounce uh, plastic water bottle that fits in, but um, it's not, it doesn't expand quite as much as some of the other uh, pockets on the other Tenba bags do. So 
Moving on to the inside of the bag, uh, this brings up one of the things that I love about this style of bag. And I have talked to Tenba for a couple of years actually about this particular way of opening a bag. All right, most bags, it, it, this is gonna be like a broken record if you've watched my other, my Solstice bag review. But I don't like a backpack that opens on the side away from the straps. If it opens on this side, then when you put the bag down in the mud or the dirt or whatever, you're setting the bag down on the strap side. So then when you pick that bag up and put it on your back, guess what? You put, you've got dirty straps, you've got a dirty pack, okay? This bag opens on what I consider the correct side, which is the back. So that when I set it down in the mud, then it's the back of the bag, it's the sealed part, the weatherproof, in this case, part of the bag, that sits down in the mud, in the dirt, my straps stay clean, no problem, I love that. So this is one way to get into the bag. And this is another feature that I was really excited about with the Axis bags. I can put my laptop in here. Now, um, some of the bags like the Shootout 24L, I used that for a long time. And it has a computer pocket as well. But the computer pocket is a separate compartment. The thing I love about the Axis bag is that this computer uh, section is basically a little collapsible pocket. So when I don't use my computer, when I don't have my computer in here, this pocket doesn't take up any space that I could use for something else. It's just a little extra padding. So if I'm taking my camera gear and my laptop, I throw my laptop in here, I've got everything in one package, it's great. But when I don't, I don't feel like I've got wasted space. There's not a separate zipper compartment or anything like that, so that I'm not wasting space that I could put extra gear in. Okay, before we get into the main compartment of the bag, I'm gonna talk about some other ways that you can access your gear. Now, the shootout uh, bags from Tenba also have this little side access hatch so that you can actually wear the bag on your back, flip it around and get a camera out, get a lens out, something like that. So I really like this, this hatch. Um, you can see this camera kind of crammed in here. I'm going to talk about the size of this particular model in a second, but that is a good way to get to your gear. Uh, another way you can do that is through this top hatch. So you can just open the top of the bag, grab a camera with the lens right out of there, no problem. Really cool. Um, now, I, I, one of the things that I think is cool that Tenba did in this case is they've got little tabs on these particular dividers so that I can pull these and open them up. Now I can grab, I've got extra batteries in here. On the other side, I have a lens. So the way that I've been traveling with this, instead of having a camera and a lens in the top, I've only got a, a, my longest lens here, my super telephoto lens in the middle, and then I've got a wide angle on one side, and then my extra batteries. So that it's not just about getting your camera and the lens out, but I can use this to have three different things I can access from this one compartment. So I think that's really handy. Now let's get into the inside of the bag. You can access all of your gear by opening the top main compartment. Okay? Um, this is pretty much the way that it comes set up. So if you look at the, uh, say the Tenba website and it shows you all the dividers, um, this is pretty much how I have it. Uh, one of the things that I find uh, really convenient is that I'll just take these dividers that I'm not using, move them to the bottom of a section. Right? So I've got my, uh, this is a Lumix G9 with a Leica 100 to 400 millimeter lens on it. And that fits in there beautifully, right? So if I have a shorter lens, then I can use a divider here and I can have the short lens and then another lens that fits right in there. I've also got things like, like this is the, the Leica 12 to 60 millimeter. It fits in with room to spare on top. Um, the Olympus 12 to 100 F4 Pro fits in perfectly. Um, any of the Micro Four Thirds lenses that I've tried to fit in here fit perfectly fine. Um, the Olympus 40 to 150 2.8 Pro fits in perfectly. Um, that brings me to a little bit of an issue with this bag, which and one of the reasons that I'm looking into the uh, 24L size. This is the 20L size. I think if you're a Micro Four Thirds shooter, you're using standard Micro Four Thirds gear, you're using any of the Lumix cameras, uh, most of the Olympus cameras, this is a great bag. It, it fits everything without feeling like a giant cavernous bag that's just too big for your gear. However, with the, uh, the Olympus EM1X and the 300mm F4 Pro, it just barely fits in here, okay? 
uh, you can see it. I can close the bag with it in here, right? But it takes up every ounce of space in here. And the EM1X is really too tall for this bag. It, it really is. Um, I can get it to close, but I can't actually use the side access hatch to pull out the EM1X. Uh, and looking at the specs, the 24L bag is just a little deeper and just a little wider. And I think um, as far as carrying the EM1X and the 300 millimeter Pro in here, that's going to be the bag to get. Uh, with the 24L, I believe you could even put um, this big sucker into the top compartment and it's not even close on the 20 liter. So um, if you're carrying the EM1X, uh, if you're carrying the super telephoto lenses, you're going to want to probably look at a little bit bigger bag, but I think the 24L would be bigger without being too much bigger. Right, the, the 32L I think is the biggest size. That would probably be way too big if you're using something like you know, a Canon 1DX or something like that. That would be the bag for you too. Now if I have any complaints about the, uh, the Axis bag, it, it's not even really a complaint about it. There's not any other pockets in the bag. It's very simple. It's basically for your camera gear and a laptop and that's about it. There's not really a lot of place to organize like your laptop charger for example or uh, filters or extra memory cards or, or batteries. So I've taken up some of the spaces in the camera with the battery pouch, um, teleconverter, things like that. But there's not really anywhere for your computer gear to go. Uh, for me, that's where these little uh, Molly pouches have come in. So I'll take one of these, put my computer accessories in it, put my, if I'm doing a presentation, I'll put my laser pointer and my, uh, you know, remote in there, my battery charger, my extra hard drive, things like that will go into one of these. Uh, and the cool part about that is I can attach them to the outside of the bag while I'm traveling. And then when I get to where I'm going, I can just hit the snaps, pop these pouches off, leave them in the hotel, put them in the safe, whatever. So I don't have all of that stuff lugging. I'm not lugging all those things around when I'm in the field shooting. You know, the idea of the Micro Four Third system for me is lightweight and portability and the ease of use and ease of getting around. So I don't necessarily want a bag that's a briefcase as well. So this way I can have all those briefcase kind of things um, without having to carry them around while I'm shooting. And basically the only other pocket in here is a pocket in the lid of the bag. So I'll keep a lens cloth and a lens pen, um, maybe some extra memory cards or something like that in there. But uh, that's about it. In conclusion, I love this bag. I, I think it's um, it's a real outdoor bag from Tenba. It's a, it's a serious bag from the really comfortable harness. Um, I didn't even mention these airflow holes in the harness. I don't know if you can see through that, but they're actually perforated uh, so that air gets in there. It doesn't feel hot. Um, you know, I go to places like Costa Rica a lot. It's hot there, in case you haven't heard that. It's humid there. I don't need a big, heavy, uh, cumbersome bag on. Um, this has a lot of airflow. Uh, it's very lightweight. Um, so this has worked really well for me. And then in a place like Wyoming, uh, again, the bag, I don't even notice it. I, I wear it. Uh, I, I can get into everything without taking the bag off if I want to. But if I go to put it down, then again, I'm setting a waterproof uh, sealed side of the bag down and I'm accessing the bag uh, with the nice clean part that goes on my back. Another great thing about this rear opening is that nobody can get into your bag. If you're walking through an airport and it's crowded, nobody's going to unzip your bag and take your camera gear out because this zipper is against your back. There's no way to do that. It's a lot more secure. Um, I, I'll, I'll say it a million times. I love the way that, that this bag opens and this is how backpacks all should work as far as I'm concerned. Um, as far as a photographer who needs to get to their gear, who might be working in conditions that are not, you don't have a clean place to set your bag down, this is the only way to go. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at rob at Rob Knight Photography. Leave a comment on this video. Check out my other videos for the, the uh, Solstice bags and some other bags from Tenba. Uh, it might be something more, that, more of what you're looking for if you're not a big outdoor photographer, if you're not traveling a lot. And, um, and let me know and check out robknightphotography.com. I'll see you later.